2,000 years after the departure of Jesus the Christ. The prophets are back to teach the real Jews, the 12 tribes of Israel, their true nationality. This is their campaign. Hey, Sean, sure. what's your name? By the way? Sure. Right, my name's Gamliel. You know, bro, I've been seeing you over here for a couple of years now, and I'm glad that you stopped today. But I have to ask you a question. What made you, out of all the years that you've been seeing us, what made you stop today to listen? Y'all never wanted to ask me a question. Okay. I have no problem answering that question. Okay, I'm glad that you stopped today, but what I want to bring, Joker, right? What I want to uh, say to you is, what makes, what do you think about what's happening to our people today? I think what I think doesn't really matter. But, of course, yeah. Yeah. I think what I think doesn't really matter. Your opinion but, does matter, bro. Your opinion is very important. I, feel, I, I understand that that's what you want, that you want, and that's what you, that's your opinion, you know what I'm saying? But everybody doesn't care what I think. Okay. Well, listen, bro. We're the Israelites. You are our brother. The brothers that are on the corner are our brothers as well. And your opinions do matter. That's right. But it, it matters a lot more, and it has a lot more power when it's filtered through the Word of God. Right. So the things that are happening to us today on, on such a massive level of us being killed, of all the hate crimes that are being committed uh, against us by the, by the other nations, it's God trying to wake us up. It's God sending us a message. Right. Give me Hosea 5, 15. Hosea chapter 5 and verse 15. Right. I will go and return to my place so they acknowledge their offense. God is saying that he's going to turn his back on us. Why? Because we've offended God. You understand that, bro? The things that we do, the things that we call everyday living, what y'all are doing right now, what y'all are doing right now, God has a problem with that. We have offended God. Selling Lucy, selling drugs, gangbanging. Bro, all of these things are wrong. I you want to say? Too much but hold the fuck. I cannot. But, 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 can't. That's, but that's the problem, I bro. I heard you, but I got shit on me that I can't stick around for. But, that, but that's what I'm saying, bro. You got to change. Dude. Read it, read it. Listen real quick. Listen real quick. I, I, quick. Quick. I, I will go and return to my place uh -huh. till they acknowledge their offense. Right? and seek my faith, uh -huh. and their affliction, they will seek me early. So God is saying, in your affliction, then you will seek God early. A lot of the time, when our brothers get locked up, who's the first person they turn to? Lord, please have mercy on me. But God is saying the only, I see you laughing, but it's true, it's true. Our brothers say, yo, son, get locked up, Lord, please have mercy on me. What about my wife? What about my kids? How am I going to provide now? But God is saying, the only reason I'm allowing this to happen to you is because you've offended me. I gave you straight commandments on how to live. Right. Don't defile yourself. Don't smoke weed. Don't smoke cigarettes. Don't sell drugs. Where's, Don't gang bang. Where does God say anything about weed in the Bible? Where does God say about weed? Okay. It's a lot of scripture going to be about the earth. Give me, but you understand that though? Understand. That the affliction, the affliction that's happening to us, us being oppressed, us being killed, God is trying to wake us up. And he knows that the more that he does to us, the more that he allows to happen to us, is the more that, the more and more that we're gonna be so fed up that we say, you know what? I can't turn to the left. I can't turn to the right. I gotta turn back to God. That's right. He's my only salvation. I gotta go back to God. That's right. That's why he knows the more cops that I put into the neighborhood, the more and more I make it harder for them to provide, that's when they're gonna turn to me and keep my commandments. That's right. So now about the weed. Psalm 1414. So 
104 of the earth. Psalm chapter 104 and verse 14. He causes the grass to grow for the cattle and, and earth for the service of men. So you understand that? God, because we call it earth back in the day, but now we have different terms for it. But originally it was called earth. So God says he causes the grass to grow for the cattle because they eat it. And the earth, now one is an earth. We would the only thing called earth. Okay. What other things were called earth? Medicine. A lot of other stuff. And that's, that's the thing. The, the uses of the marijuana, it can be used for medicinal purposes. But when you roll it up in a blunt bill, when you roll it up in a blunt bill, it's still medication. It's still medication. It's defiling you. It's putting tar into your lungs. So God's saying you're defiling yourself. That's not the service that he made it for. That's right. Give me Genesis 1 verse 29. So God made earth to grow for the service of man. So now let's see uh, Genesis 1 verse 29. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 29. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of the earth and every tree in which, the, in which is the fruit of the tree yielding seed. So God is saying, I've given you every herb bearing seed. Read on. To you it shall be for meat. To you it shall be for meat. How do you spell that? But my brother Joker, I, I pray that you repeat it because last one, Jeremiah 26, 13. I need you to hear this before you go. This is the most important one. Jeremiah chapter 26, verse 13. This is for all of our brothers that are out there not keeping God's commandments. God says he has judgments waiting for you. Read. Jeremiah chapter 26 and verse 13. Uh -huh. Therefore, now amend your ways. You know what it means to amend your ways? to change. Make, to make it simple, just to change. A lot of our people think that it's so hard to come to God. Listen, bro. Listen, bro. See, see what I'm saying? That, that thing is wrong, bro. I try. That's how I feed. That's how you feed? Read, read on. Read on. Therefore, now amend your ways and your doings and obey the voice of the Lord your God. The Bible says amend your ways. Change what you're doing and obey the voice of God. Obey God's commandments. Read on. And the Lord will repent him of the evil that he has pronounced against you. That's the problem. A lot of our people don't know. Many of our people don't know that God has evil pronounced against you. There's judgments getting ready that are lined up to happen to you. My brother right there with the blue headphones. Brother with the blue headphones. Sorry, I'm joking. What's, what's the brother's name right there? Okay. God, can, God is saying, come on up, come on up, bro. I, I, I want to go, but I gotta go, but I'm not. Gotta, 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 okay, but God is saying that he has evil, you know what it means? For God to say that he has evil pronounced against you? What evil do you see happen in the world? Every day. Every day you see something going on in the news. A sister was coming home on the train from the club yeah. with her sister. Out of nowhere, a man comes up, slices her throat, and stabs her sister in the neck. That's an evil judgment from God. It ain't happening from nobody else. There's only one God, so God allowed it to happen. Right. So for God to allow that to happen, and for him to say in the Bible that he has evil pronounced against you if you don't repent, that would make me be like, oh shoot, I need to change what I'm doing. He allowed it to happen. He allowed that to happen. Yeah. Our people don't know this Bible. Right. right? God makes good and God makes evil. Right. 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 A lot of our people, you ain't gonna learn that in the Christian church. Right. God says, we didn't get from the top. Jeremiah chapter 26 and verse 13. Uh -huh. Therefore now, amend your ways, change your life, read, and your doing, uh -huh. and obey the voice of the Lord your God. God is giving you initiative. You understand? God is saying, listen, if you do this, I'll do that. But if you don't do this, then please believe it's going to be death, it could be a gunshot, it could be somebody stabbing you, or you can get locked up and then my brother, who's going to take care of your two boys? That's right. Who's going to take care of your two boys? So God is saying, listen, the lifestyle that you're in right now, you have the opportunity to make a change so that your two boys don't grow up doing the same thing. You're their role model, bro. That's right. How old are they, if you don't mind me asking? Six and four months. Six and four months. Bro, a six-year-old, my daughter right now is two, and every 
single thing that I do, she mimics it. Every single thing my wife does, she mimics it. Right. So at six years old, he's, he's getting ready to go into first grade, second grade, bro. I still remember things from when I was four years old. So it molded my life from that, that, that young age. Check it out. So a six year old seeing his daddy doing the things that he's doing wherever he's at, he's going to mimic it, bro. I don't really see none of this shit. Thank you, y'all. I appreciate it. Yo, bro, bro, understand, bro. I understand everything y'all said. And God has a judgment for you. I don't want to see you die, bro. Thank a couple you. years ago, I saw a brother that hangs out. Brothers, what y'all say in posse. A couple years ago, I saw them give somebody a buck fifty. It can easily be you. It was right here in front of us. We was doing the same thing. It was the same posse. They, right they, 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 they cut you right there. So that's, the, that's what I'm saying. No. Things, things happen because God is saying he has a problem with how you're living. That a lady that's stabbed in the train, coming from a club with her sister, she doesn't live the life that I live. Wait, that's what I'm saying. She wasn't keeping God's commandments. Hold oh, on. Wow. How do you Second know Ezra chapter 7 verse I'm 20. confused though. How do you know that? Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. 
IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.